cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in nld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now so let's continue off with our next which is the command design pattern now this simply says that uh, like wrapping things as commands which means the actions you want to perform i will just wrap them as commands as objects and which i can simply pass around it can be stored can be executed when needed for example let's say your mom says oh um aryan uh, please wash clothes please uh, you know put them on hanger please uh, uh, wash dishes and then uh, mop the floor so these are the actions which i have to perform which technically my mom gave me now i don't want to do this so i'll just wrap it around and they say okay this is the command and then i'll give this command to my sister and this is how things can be done so you see that how easy it is and again let's say if i ask my sister if she rejects it then i can just give it to someone else and you know that's how simply it's easy to transport this thing and much and again this can go very big so obviously the entire catch is that rather than storing transferring all these big 100 100 actions i just wrap them in one command and just transfer that specific command and that's 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 ultimately it for example i have some actions to be performed and that i can just wrap it up now as we saw that uh, white is named command pattern because we are commanding an action and as you saw that i can just give one command you know do this <laughs> don't waste it but obviously i cannot but yeah uh, that's that's the entire essence so uh, command it like it creates a command object which represents actions to it now and again you can execute it right now maybe later on it's totally up to you now let's see a traditional way of uh, how we can have a simple function of turning on and off a tv remote and maybe again having more options of uh, you know uh, modifying or changing some channels or adjusting volumes now i have kept them very simple but i will make it complex as we go ahead now let's start so a tv will obviously always have some individual functions a tv will have individual functions of turning on a command turning off you know um uh, changing a channel and then adjust volume it's a simple simple uh, simple simple actions which a tv has right and again tv will always have individual actions that's you know no doubt now a remote control now let's say if i ask okay press on button i simply went on and called tv and then asked to press it on okay then i said okay turn off then simply then simply do it turn off then let's say change volume i simply hit that at this volume i simply hit that now you might ask arin isn't it very easy to do this thing like my remote control is actually i'm just calling the button of remote control and then it is actually it is performing that action of the tv is it very simple and straightforward yes it is simple but until unless some new functionality comes in and you want to have many actions onto it for example i ask okay there is one more action on my remote control this work this one more action which is press on change volume and channel button so you will turn on then you will actually have to change volume and then you will have to adjust the volume now did you see some issue here that uh, remote control has okay like obviously remote control have something now any which ways in future again there are couple of issues here firstly any which ways there is an issue like there is a change in this command basically this is the command right this is simply a command any ways in future let's say i say okay no uh, whenever i say press on change volume and uh, channel button firstly let's say volume should be changed and then the ch channel should be changed let's say i want to change this thing so i will have to come to my remote control and unnecessarily change this so obviously again okay, this was individual command which has no linked with remote control per se it's just that the logic inside it i'm changing but i have to still touch this class that's the issue so obviously and again there's one more catch that what if this command end up you know being a lot more command some sequence so basically this is one command let's say it has some actions but that actions has some conditions you know all that it can be a very bloated set of actions which can also make your remote control class very bloated because again 
this is not an this is not a responsibility of remote control cast remote control cast has its own responsibility perform that specific command that's it it doesn't have to deal with what all is inside that specific command right this is one command and remote control should not deal with this he, he only has to perform that action do that action which means just ex just execute it that's it not dealing with the internal responsibilities or internal stuff of a specific command so that's all the issue which we saw with the traditional approach how we'll go about it obviously you will you will just say that take a command interface and then just break it down what i say break it down which means that now what will happen that i'll say this is one command 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 so now i am saying okay these are the commands and in a command i will have some actions which i can perform okay let's see then i will say okay this is my command and i i'll just simply have an action a command will simply be executed as i mentioned in the very beginning as an analogy that my mom gave me some actions i just wrapped it around in a command now i have one command i just give okay execute it that's it that's it as simple as that it's so it's so easy to you know uh, transfer this thing also you don't have to wrap it like you don't have to uh, put out all of these actions in a list and then transfer it no you don't want it so what what happened here i'll say turn on command in the execute function i'll just simply perform the same job tv dot turn on same way turn off turn on tv dot turn off same way my channel on change command tv dot channel on change let's say adjust volume command okay just tv dot adjust volume now as i said this entire logic inside a specific command can be very complex because this is an action this is an action and can be very 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 complex as well like it can literally be very big and now but again this will only be specific to a specific command and in future let's say i want to give a new command you know uh like as let's say if i want to give you know a specialized command let's say you see that i have let's say ai enabled now or let's say okay i have a home control enabled now as soon as the person owns the tv I, i have to give a special favorite command special favorite command what this command will do this command will on the tv this command will uh, set the favorite channel to uh, you know let's say pokemon or let's say pojo uh, i forgot the name but yeah uh, and then it will set the volume to 69 and then uh, it will uh, maybe like uh, it will dim the brightness and then uh yeah that's let's say that's the thing which this command will do like special command which i have put up so what will happen now again this can be literally very bloated of actions so that right now i have four actions which i have put up but can be literally a lot of action which, which i can put up but the the special part is now it's just one special command which can literally be passed to my remote control i can just put up okay when i press the button one this command will be called and internally this command literally calls all these four actions so this is what i have abstracted out that okay i can have literally any number of actions and this can be performed and again any new command also i i want to put up i want to you know register any new command that will be made separately that will be made separately any new command new command separately and again all the actions inside it are separate they will never touch existing commands or even they don't need to have much touching code onto your remote control so let's see okay right now we saw command interface and the corresponding command implementations which we have done for the same now let's proceed forward let's see remote control now remote control now has to simply just you know have the corresponding command and then call execute that's it that's it remote control again whenever i say you know my specialized command specialized command then again for specialized command also just call execute that's it so anyway in future let's say even if in my remote control i have the specialized command in future let's say i change i want to change my specialized command so i will only change this function or this command that's it i will not change my remote control for changing my specialized command actions i want to change let's say the order of actions i want to add one more action i can individually change only the specialized command that's it my remote control will not change because of modify my specialized command and that is the beauty of your command design pattern and again tv will remain as is tv has its own individual actions which i have put up so these are the actions which are there and which will remain there because it is a identity or it's a you know a thing of a tv and not something else so for tv the actions will remain as is individual actions which the tv can perform which my tv provider will give me and that's how i can simply use this let's see in uh, you know in real life how we will use it so we will have a tv and then i have turn on command for this tv turn off command for this tv 
my channel change command for this TV and I just call him for this TV. Now I have all these commands with me. And again, as I mentioned, these can be literally very bloated as well. Like individual commands can be very bloated as in like internal actions can be literally a lot. But my action, my, you know, my task is simple. I simply make a remote control. And again, you can put things in the constructor as well. You can put things as a header as well. Totally up to you. Because again, the essence here is the functioning of command. Again, I'm not saying this is a very clean code. This can be, you know, we can have multiple strategies to it. We can have, you know, mediated to it. Like again, there are multiple things, but the focus here in this is just seeing how a command design pattern works. Now, obviously I'll just call my remote and then I'll just press on button. With that press on button, it, it, it internally calls a specific command, which I have set what command needs to be called on press on button. And that command, let's say press on command. And that command internally can have literally as many actions as it wants. Maybe there is a, you know, uh, on capacitor, then on the screen, then uh, um, on, let's say display. Again, I'm just making things up. Then maybe like, you know, uh, put the volume on. So that's how, let's say my on is compiled with some, with, with, with some actions. And that's what your press on button will do. And ultimately, uh, as I have shown here that you can execute the other commands as well individually, but technically again, the entire essence is getting the commands done as separate and then using it. You, you can use it randomly as well. You can use it to give to your remote control as well. So remote control never kind of, you know, have to deal with all the actions to perform. No, the command will deal with it. Anyone wants to use it. I will give it. Let's say remote control want to use it. Remote control will use it. I want to use it. I will use it. So no one have to ever worry about any new command coming in because any new command coming in will be now separate. Simply for following our open close principle, everything, every, every new command, as I said, specialized command will be now separate command. It will implement your uh, simple, uh, you know, command interface. And then obviously the actions used here will be only for TV. Again, TV will have individual actions to it. Just clubbing of some actions in some order will make a command and that command anyone can ask me so anyone in future let's say remote control or any other control let's say my you know iot control of my home let's say any other controller can simply ask for the specific command and that's how i just can simply extend without modifying any logic every anywhere and that's the beauty of your command design pattern as i said uh, the best ad advantages no modification uh, separate concerns you know and flexibility obviously and again, if you want to just have some use case, primarily you can just put the use case anywhere, wherever you are clubbing up some options or operations, which means let's say you're typing. So you, you can just, you know, maybe you have some command of uh, maybe some color, font, all that stuff. Again, there are multiple things, just, you know, clubbing of some op op options, or sorry, operations, actions, that's your command is like typing, deleting, formatting. It can be wrapped around as a simple command object. And again, uh, you can have on buttons, you can have uh, your tasks, which is being scheduled and so on and so forth. Like literally anything in real life as well, you can have your commands in place. Lastly, as we said that it literally decouples the request as you saw in the diagram as well. So my remote control rather than directly calling my TV commands, no, I just said, okay, you call this command, individual commands you call based on what you have to do. And then those individual commands will check and call your TV just to know what set of actions it has to perform. So that is the reason it becomes very much decoupled. And again, any of the command can perform the corresponding operation. It is extensible, maintainable and scalable, always clear, more flexible and more robust code. And again, as you saw that I can ex execute all these demands as or all these commands as when I like. Cool. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys will command your LLD with the skiddies. And make sure that we hit the like target of 2 likes. See you next video. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.